Hey fam, welcome back to the channel. It's Gene, aka LS Turbo Integ, and I really hope you guys enjoy the process. It's been such a long journey, and I hope you guys really enjoy uh, the build here. But we're gonna go ahead and continue. So we're going to go ahead and pick up where we last left off, and we are now gonna install the trim on all the shelving and all the wardrobe cabinets. So sit back and enjoy. All right guys, I think we got the trim for the cabinets. Let's go home and get started on this. This is before guys. And after you guys, no gaps. Bring the thunder, haven't you heard? But honestly, I just wanna dance with my girls here tonight. No man by our sides. Crystal clear that your head over heels, but don't come any closer, my dear. Cause when I get mad, I cannot control what might happen You think you can Put your hands on my body I'm no damsel in distress Come too close, I might just lose it I knock you down like boom Close, I might just lose it Just so much to see that ain't about love I'm 
ready to face my fears I'm ready to taste the weird I just wanna walk the hills above My ordinary life, I could let it burn Cause I just wanna go, go, go to the deep end I just wanna go Here's the trim, and basically what we're doing to accomplish using trim is to cover up this huge gap. Now uh, this gap is normal, this is the way the cabinets are done. Uh, Ikea did supply these white covers that cover those silver brackets, but even then I think that gap is still huge. Some people it probably doesn't bother them, um, but to me it does a little bit, so that's why I use trim. Now the trim pieces I'm using is an inch and a half, okay? And the gap itself from edge to the drawer is an inch and a half as well. However, when you use the trim, I don't bring it all the way to the drawer. I try to space it out just to give it enough space. That way the drawers can open smoothly still. But now as you guys can see, the gap is covered. And that's what I do with these trim pieces. So compare it to that, to that guys, what looks better, right? 
All right, let's continue on.
right guys, another day. All the trim is now done, you guys. Um, as you can see, all the horizontal pieces are complete. I also filled in all the gaps that were behind. As you can see, those are all closed up now. And I wasn't planning on doing these, but you know, when it comes to home, sometimes they're not really leveled. And so when you put a straight board against the wall and there's all this gapage going on, you could tell the builders kind of did a, uh, did a Mickey Mouse job, if you can say, <laughs> or they just were in such a rush to get everything done. But anyways, you could see how I, uh, what I basically did guys, um, instead of buying more trim, uh, these edge pieces that I used, all these edge pieces that I used right here, I basically ripped them down straight down the middle to create two pieces. And that's what I use to fill in all the gaps. You can see all the trim is done in there, but here's all these that cover up the two wardrobes joined together. I've got those before and afters. Got a nice beveled look to it. That way at least the wider sections, instead of having just a flat um, trim, it's got a nice uh, shape to it just to uh, flow with the uh, crown. All the trim is done. So now what I got to do is build in all the uh, nail holes. So today I'm going to sand everything down, then go back and what I'm gonna do is go ahead and seal everything up. Um, also going to seal up all these gaps as well. I might as well do that. When I'm standing here, um, I can see all those corner lines. So I wanna get rid of it. I might even try, no, I can't even do this cause you know, it moves. It's just the backboard. I might try one, maybe at the bottom here in a real conspicuous spot so you can't see it. And if it looks good, I'll go ahead and hit those middle sections too. But all these corners, I'm gonna go ahead and seal those up. That way it's nice and clean, solid white. That way, as well as the top corners up there, guys, I'll go ahead and I'll seal those up. And that will be the project for today after I'm done sanding. The flooring, you guys, I'm actually gonna assemble the two dressers and kinda play with the idea of where to put them. I was gonna put the flooring down first and then the two dressers on top with the granite on top, but maybe we'll put them in place. That'll save a little bit of wood flooring material cost there, even though it's already paid for, but it's always good to have extra pieces on standby, guys just in case for whatever reason you need to replace the section, you have that. Sorry about that guys, that was actually LLC. The bamboo wood flooring just showed up at their warehouse. So I'm gonna head over there, put everything on hold for a second, just, go, just so I can go there and pick everything up. But at least I could finally start working on the wood flooring. So I won't assemble the dressers yet. Well, we'll see, we'll play it by ear. But let's go ahead and head over to LLC and pick up the flooring. See you in a bit, guys. guys got the wood flooring all loaded up let's go ahead and head back to the house probably won't start on this for a few days i gotta go back to work 
But as soon as I have my days off, we'll start working on the flooring. Stay tuned, guys. Also guys, what I did, see all the small holes? Uh, there were holes on these boards. Instead of putting trim is what I was originally gonna do to cover up the holes, I went ahead and spackled them up and I'm gonna wait till it dries, I'm gonna sand it down and if I don't see the little tiny holes then I'll have to use the trim. Um, but if this works fine after I sand it down and I don't notice it, I'll end up painting the whole board out anyways. As long as it blends and you don't see it, then I think I'll be fine doing it with this method versus uh, putting some trim pieces. Here's the other section I was talking about. So, as it dries, it'll probably suck in a little bit, like here. And basically I'll sand it down, patch in whatever minor holes that are showing patch them up again sand it and then i think i should be good guys it just it looked you know it's normal to see the holes inside these cabinets i mean i think everybody's used to seeing that i just didn't want the outside to have all those holes and i just didn't want to keep adding more trim on top of trim so i decided let's seal it up sand it down and see what it looks like um hopefully it'll look just kind of smooth like this but we'll see what it looks like so i just wanted to point that out to you guys and show you what i'm doing with that all right let's get to work trim that is as you can see we're good to go over here after it dries then we're gonna go back and seal everything up with sealant all right guys
Alright fam, that'll do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit those post notifications. That way when I drop the next video, you guys will be notified. And if you guys have any questions, please post a comment below. So stay tuned for the next video. The next video, we are going to start assembling the IKEA drawers as well as building that frame. And I believe we start working on the wood flooring as well. Alright fam, so have a wonderful and blessed day.